with Charles Davis. As always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. So first and 10 now from the 30. On play action, it's Breeze. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. Now a second and ten. Bree's going to throw. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Bree's going to try and throw on third down. Another grab here for the dynamic Christian McCaffrey. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Bree's going to go on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And this defense holds firm here on the opening drive of the night. They go play action now. Jackson. And this intercepted on the first play of the game. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And the Dolphins will take over here at their own 14-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, that fatal last words every time we hear that. Things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Breeze now, sliding out of the pocket. Open man right side to St. Brown. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. First catch here by St. Brown. Good for a first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. A good run there off right tackle in an old-school NFL football. The right side, the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Second and 10. Breeze now to throw. 
Throw to St. Brown, complete on the left side. Down the left sideline. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Amon Ross St. Brown, 54 yards. And the Dolphins take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Taken at the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They threw an interception the first time they had the football. Wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in. Everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. Here's Jackson to throw. That is complete. It's Eric Dickerson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So now first and 10 yeah, yeah. as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 49-yard line. Play action. Now Jackson. He finds his man complete. It's Gonzalez. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. To throw again is Jackson. Jerry Rice, open right side. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. From the 28, it's second and five. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. From the gun, Jackson going for it all. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Again, Jackson. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 16. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. Seems as if the passing attack's starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. And that one going to come up short, low throw. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Second and ten, here's Jackson again. Pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. They'll 
will send Moss in motion right. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. But Charles, he was looking for just a short throw. Kept it in range for the rare linebacker pick six. And give him full credit for his focus. He just kept the quarterback in his sights and where he was looking to throw. He positioned himself perfectly to be there for the interception. He made the play of the game for his defense right there. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Hey, hey, report. Report. Now Jackson eluding the pressure right. Oh, and for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Picked off by Harrison Smith. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Henry running right. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, and you throw it again. Then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. Now a throw complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. I think they tried to fool him on that one. You know, being able to throw the ball to the fullback position. No one was fooled on that play. No, lost yardage. You think they should yank that one from the playbook, at least for the time being? I think, you, I think what you do is you take it out and you evaluate it next week in practice. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. Field goal coming from Young Way Koo. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. Koo knocks this one through the post. And the Dolphins will add on to their lead. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder into ball carrier, and down he goes. Jackson's throw into the hands of Gonzalez here. 17 yards on the play as they try to eat into this 17-point deficit. Now Jackson on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Gonzalez. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. First down. Johnson goes in motion left. Jackson on first down. He'll buy some time right. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 
Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Jackson now. Open man downfield is Rice. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Here comes Devin Hester bringing it out. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Now a whistle, and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout in time. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Jackson. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked by Jeff Okuda. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Well, whatever adjustments they're trying to make over on that sideline, Charles, this defense, they, they just seem to be a step in front of them and not giving them a chance to implement any of those changes. And here, a pick six, and they widen the lead. At least a step ahead, maybe even two steps. And right now, they are thinking hard about putting this opponent away. That turnover, it grew their lead and just totally deflated that offense. Now these next couple series, you can take them out of the game entirely if you continue on this pace. And he'll be out of bounds here, a yard shy of the 25 of the 24. The take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Gonzalez. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 14 yards there and a Falcon first down. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations. But a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route? Definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Johnson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Second and a couple. Now Lamar changing the play. This is Eric Dickerson, four-time rushing champ. And yeah, maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. It's a gain of 16, first down, Falcons. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this a little bit of math here. Four plays, 
Three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. His throw caught at about the five. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Chewing up big yardage, another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they gotta get ready. It's first and goal. Throw left side, completion to Rice. Touchdown! Jerry Rice! A five-yard touchdown. And the Falcons are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Had the option there, read it perfectly, and an easy little touchdown toss. And it has to be a sharp throw, too, because of where they are on the field. The extra traffic, things are condensed near the goal line. Good route by the receiver as well. Elliott good with a PAT, and that cuts the lead to 24-10. And they decide fairly early here they need the ball back, so here's an onside kick. And the Dolphins are going to recover. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. I know they're down, but starting the third quarter there with the onside kick, what'd you think? Well, I think that they're looking at it as we may not have as many possessions in this game as we want. There may be that sense and that feel that they've got to go ahead and make something happen. Steal possession, try and steal some points, and get themselves right back in a position to try and win the game. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. On play action, now Breeze. He's going to get this complete here to lock it. A gain of 28 yards there and give him the first down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now a handoff to Henry. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. Great tackle by Derek Brooks. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Henry again on second down. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. At this stage of the game, with a score where it is, the key here is stay in bounds, and he did just that. Not by a huge margin, but he stayed in. And those come up in what we like to call winning edge meetings. The things that you have to do, late game situations, kicking situations, doesn't matter what it is, the things you have to do to win a game, and that comes up in that meeting, then you practice it, They've got to be happy to see it executed and being able to stay in bounds and work the clock. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves them with a fourth down now. Field goal coming from Young Way Koo. This to make it a three-score game late. Two knocks this one through the post, and the Dolphins will add on to their lead. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. 
And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be... And that's caught at the 25. Touchdown, Falcons. A big play there. 